Okay, it's day 35. So what you see here is this first true leaf of the most well-developed plant. Practically the only survivor that's thriving is, uh, it's kind of curled up. Seems like the leaf has shrunk a lot. You know, it used to be over an inch long just yesterday. But because of the curling, uh, it's not feasible to measure this thing. I think the horizontal measurement has shrunk a little too, also due to curling. That's definitely a problem, you know, the cotyledons are dead. The first true leaf is curling, so I think there's a lack of water. The second true leaf is stagnating in development. The third and the fourth true leaves are also stagnated. And, you know, I really can't see any, haven't seen any progress over the last few days. That with the fact that the first true leaf is shrinking, I can only conclude that there's just not enough water for this plant. See, I'm tilting this bowl at almost, uh, I would say, you know, 70 degree angle, and there's barely any water gathering in the bottom, so I think this means it's time to water again. You can barely see after many, many seconds of holding the bowl at this angle that some water is gathering. So I face a conundrum here. Do I water more and create more opportunities for mold growth and root rot and so forth? Or do I risk letting everything that could grow in here become dehydrated? So instead of watering with a full cup as I did in the past, I have this cup over here. It's only half full of water. And I'm basically going to water with a focus on this um, more important plant. Um, but you know... What ends up always happening is I water like that and it spreads all throughout the bowl. The water is sinking in everywhere and you know air bubbles are coming out again. Um, hopefully half a cup of water will be just right compared to a full cup of water which proved to be disastrous last time. It was too much. Well, we'll see what happens within the next few hours. If I don't see any kind of improvement or reversal of this curling by at the latest tomorrow morning, then I'll know something seriously is amiss. And at that point, I really have to consider placing this out in the sun to let it recover. Okay, it's day 36. So there's only really one plant that's doing okay at this point, And its first true leaf was curling up about 24 hours ago. So I watered with about half a cup of water and that wet the soil and what happened was after 12 hours upon watering the leaf unfurled again but now it's a little bit you know curled at the edges after 24 hours so I'm going to do a quick check to see how much water is in the soil. Okay so I'm going to start tilting this bowl. Okay, so it seems like there's a fair bit of water. You know, I'm tilting this at maybe a 25 degree angle, 25 to 30 degrees. So there's a lot of dead stuff in this bowl right now, but this is a mystery to me. These two cotyledons have stayed green all this time, despite being disconnected from their stem. So what's the deal? You know, I, I really don't know. I have to wait to see if these die. Uh, the seed husk is still attached, but Maybe these leaves are just sort of functioning on their own for the time being. Uh, it's kind of like how if you were to dissect an insect or vivisect it, you know, the parts would all still be moving around because they're controlled independently. Well, plants, you know, parts of plants can survive for a while, you know, despite being disconnected from their main uh, body. And right nearby that is a seedling, a new seedling that's sprouting out of the soil. And it's pretty late in the game for this to be happening. It's day 36, so I never expected to see something like this. But some of the seeds just never got enough water, or for whatever reason, they're just late bloomers. So apparently this seedling is undeterred by all the potential mold growing around it and the Lysol that I've sprayed into the soil. So I guess that's a good sign. You know, these plants have their own immune system, so to speak. Here's another example of something I don't quite understand. You know, nearby uh, you see a seedling that's, or a seed that's just covered with mold. 
but here you see you know a seedling that seemingly has two large cotyledons that aren't dead yet you know and it's soaking wet it's been soaking wet on the surface for quite a while so I don't really understand how this is possible and how this is thriving but it is so um, for whatever the reason you know maybe it's because I lowered the lamp now there's enough sun um, well synthetic light so to speak that these plants are getting signals to grow and they can photosynthesize properly. I still haven't made a decision as to whether I should move this plant into the range of natural light indoors. Um, it's February, mid-February in San Diego and it's still really cold at nights and you know just today for example there's an arctic storm front moving in so it's been raining and it's going to be super cold at night maybe you know sometimes it reaches the 30s or the 40s in Fahrenheit or you know much less than 10 Celsius. So on a final note I'm going to remove a lot of the dead stuff in here so I'm going to put on some disposable gloves and pick out you know those seed husks that are just basically mold farms at this point and yank out or snap some of those uh, dead seedlings because I don't want uh, you know all these essentially dead vegetables lying around growing mold. Okay, I just wanted to give a quick update. It's day 36 and a half, and I finally relented, and I placed this bowl on a bench where it'll get some afternoon sunlight. As you can see, the sun from the outside is pretty weak compared to the sun from the LED lamp. So about 2 or 3 p.m., that should change. So this won't be getting full sun throughout the day, but it'll definitely get 2 to 3 hours of solid sunlight, minus most of the UV because there is a pane of glass and glass blocks out I think 99.8% of the UV something like that 99% maybe so with regards to this plant the growth has sort of stagnated the leaf is unfurled since I watered it uh, which is a very good sign the morphology of the leaf is starting to change it's becoming more folded up instead of flat so you know I can't really measure its growth very accurately like this compared to what it was a few days ago Okay, it's day 38. So as you can see, uh, this leaf is doing fine. It unfurled. The tip is a little bit curled, but otherwise it's green, it's vibrant, it's fine. You know, the size really hasn't changed. It's still about an inch long and maybe 13 or 14 sixteenths of an inch wide. Um, of course, that varies a little bit because if you were to flatten out this leaf, it would uh, turn out to be a lot bigger than it was before but you know I'm not gonna damage the plant or risk doing so so the second true leaf is not really any bigger I mean everything's kinda of the same size this plant is in stasis and you know it's been on this bench in a new location next to the window I'm, I've given it two full days of sunlight I know it only probably gets maybe two hours of like proper sunlight in the afternoon, in the mid-afternoon, probably from say um, 2 to 4 or something like that, or maybe even less, but you know, it, it should be doing well in conjunction with this 5 watt LED light. So, um, yeah, I can't really explain this, but you know, it's very slow, the progress. So things like this are kind of hard to explain, um, other than just saying the seed husk and the cotyledons with it way more and so when they got stuck in the mud essentially this soil is very sticky uh, the shoot system you know couldn't right itself basically the root system somehow gets pulled out by the growth of the stem and then you see a little root trying to go back into the ground and collect some water uh, that hasn't fared well in the past so I don't think this plant's going to do fine because uh, I'm not intervening with any of them really with regards to positioning. Not really sure what's going on here. Uh, most of the action is hidden from sight, but I think a good plant could develop out of this one. And right above it, there's a plant that's germinating. So here we see a moldy mess on the left and, uh, you know, potential germinating plant on the right. So that basically concludes my report for day 38. Um, you know, there's not that much progress except for those few seedlings that seem to be coming out of nowhere. 
Um, it's quite unusual that they're coming out of dormancy and germinating after 38 days, but, you know, uh, if anything, I've learned that, you know, the unexpected happens for this experiment. So I've seen a lot of things, and uh, hopefully in the next few days, with all this extra sun on providing natural light, uh, we'll see some growth, and I'll spray that one moldy spot in the center.